my projects are making projects, so today I'm going to work on building a bender for my hydraulic press. I'm going to start by cutting this inch and three quarter pipe so that it could be a collar for the press. As you can see, it doesn't quite fit on, so I'm going to start by turning it down in the lathe. So I got the piece in the lathe, and I'm using a boring bar to do a, like a scratch pass to see how this works. I'm going to cut it to length. I have a bolt to, as a kind of a bolt nut as a temporary kind of machinist jack to take up the space in there. I'm going to come down and put a little bit of oil on it. It moved on me there as you can see so I'm going to put it back in the lathe and see if I could true up that side. my collar made out of black pipe so I go on like that and get from popping out I picked up a half inch by six black pipe nipple cut these ends off and then the right on the spring and the groove and this is gonna be the bender I'll have it welded on here so without the ends in half so I cut it out a little more than just these black pipe pieces I got these cut and ready to go and they're going to each go on right here, on each side. I'll be cutting the spring. The spring will go underneath. So kind of like this. And then when this comes down to bend it, it'll compress the spring. And then when I let up on the jack pressure, it'll pop it back up to pull the whatever I'm bending out. So I'm going to weld this up, tack this in. Um, actually, I'll weld it up. I need to make some kind of plate support for each side so I'll cut some metal to go on each side of this to box it in. I got this tacked up and I think I'm going to just use these half inch nuts on the bottom here and these seven inch half inch bolts. So now I'm going to start stripping off the zinc coating on these bolts so I and grind off the edge right here where I got a little weld up the edge so that I can weld on these nuts. So I got it welded up now and I had to go from, I needed about six inches, those seven inches bolts would hit up top here because this is not long enough. And I, I was out of six inch, so I went up with that all thread. Got a quarter inch by inch and a half piece stock here, and I'm gonna see if I could put a 45 in it. So it's time for the test. Looks like a 45. I need to get some longer springs. I cut the springs too short on it. Well, that looks pretty good. I'm not sure really how much this costs since I use mainly stuff I had lying around from other projects, but it probably wasn't that bad. Thanks for watching.